Dr. Paul Reagan said he'd cut the government, but he grew it by 60%. You sound a lot like him, but can you guarantee, can you guarantee that you will cut the government at least 5%? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Purse.io to beat the status quo. Anyway, if I ask him a question as he's getting out of the car, that's going to make it less likely I can ask any other questions today. But, uh, but I told Paul's staff a few years ago, you only get one freebie. They had an event where they wouldn't let me interview him. Uh, I told them, uh, yeah, this one time I'll comply, but next time I'll, am I'll ambush interviews all the time. So that building is almost full now, and there's all already still, or there is still a real line to get in. One of the telling things about... Uh, this event was I mentioned to someone that I was wanting to know if uh, Dr. Paul would be doing any shooting today and they're like oh I don't know I don't really care there's already so much video of him shooting <laughs> so that's great Dr. Paul Reagan said he'd cut the government but he grew it by 60 percent you sound a lot like him but can you guarantee, sorry, can you guarantee that you will cut the government at least five percent your first four years you can't guarantee that you'd cut the government at least 5% in your first four years?
remember going to a Ron Paul event, I think in February of 20, 2007, which would be further along in his campaign than Dr. Paul over here is in his campaign. Uh, and that, that Ron Paul event couldn't have drawn in more than 50, maybe 25 people. Um, so it was a similar type of event at a gun place. Uh, in that case, uh, Ron Paul's event was at a gun store. And uh, that was, it was a much easier easier to access gun store. This is really a difficult spot to get to, or relatively difficult. Um, so you'd expect the turnout to be suppressed. It's really big. And it is just anecdotal. But I think the I would call turnout here about uh, 120. Numbers to be updated uh, as I get better information. If, if I do. I'm guessing you wouldn't want to save 20% on Amazon.com. You wouldn't want to be able to use bitcoins instead of dollars. And you wouldn't want decentralized commerce. If I'm right in these assumptions, well, you certainly wouldn't want to visit purse.io to beat the status quo.